दाखर बरबड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एट जीरो फाइव वन आई ओ प्रोग्राम लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब की फीचर्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन आई ओ कोर्स एंड इट्स प्रोग्राम कंटेंट्स इन पार्क वन वी विल डिस्कस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एट जीरो फाइव वन कोर्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी जीरो एंड पोर्ट वन इट्स फीचर्स एंड प्रोग्रामिंग If you look at the diagram, eight zero five one has got four ports, which are named as P zero, P one, P two, and P three. And each port is of eight pins, or we can say eight bits. Each port has dual use, except P one. all the ports are used for multiple purposes except p1 and all ports are bit addressable in addition to 8 bits as a whole that means we can use any port pin as a single entity otherwise we can use that port as a whole that is 8 bits so these are the features of 8051 ports all the ports upon reset are configured as output means all the port pins are ready to use as a output port when we reset the system but to use any of these ports as an input port it must be programmed that means we should configure first it as a input port and then we can use it for our purpose all the ports except port 0 has internal pull up registers means port 0 doesn't have internal pull up registers why it doesn't have we will see in the next slide but remaining all the ports have internal pull up registers so there is no need to connect external pull, pull up registers for port 1 port 2 and port 3 but at an external pull up register of 10k is required to be connected to each pin of port 0 if you want to use port 0 for io it must be connected to a supply voltage through 10 kilo ohm register each port pin of port 0 must be connected through a 10k register to a vcc this is due to the fact that p0 is an open drain P0 is a open drain circuit and the use of it we will see in the next slide see here if you want to use port 0 we can look at this port pins are there P0.0 to P0.7 this is uh, of all the 8 bits of port 0 which are used as either port 0 or it can be used for other purpose also that we will see in the next slide but when we are using it as a port 0 each port pin must be connected through a 10k register to vcc so this is what uh, exceptional to only port 0 for the remaining ports there is no need to connect this uh, 
external pull up register they can be used directly but here what uh, why this is not done internally as of other ports because open drain output is used to interface different families of devices that have different operating logic voltage levels or to control external circuitry that requires a higher voltage that means if you want a uh, multi logic devices in a circuit we can use this port 0 to connect to uh, another device of different logic level so this is possible only with port 0 with port 1 2 and 3 we cannot connect the devices of other logic levels now as we discussed earlier port 0 has dual role except that means uh, port 1 doesn't have any other role it only acts as a io port but remaining ports has dual role so what is the dual role of port 0 we will discuss here so this is uh, what we can say a memory this is a, a latch and this is our processor so port 0 pins are connected to memory directly as well as it goes to the latch and al is used to latch these port 0 contents so how this is done we can see here the 8051 multiplexes address and data through port 0 to save pins so this port 0 pins carries address as well as data that is ad0 to ad7 but when this will be data and when this will be uh, address that is decided by the pin ale so ale indicates if p0 has address or data with the help of latch this latch so when this is zero the data is transferred between this memory and processor and when this al is one it has address which is latched here and this address that is a0 to a7 is provided to the memory so this port zero carries data as well as address now we will see the programming of port 0 how it can be used there are only two possibilities one is a we can use it as a input port or we can use it as a output port so first we'll see how it can be used as a input port so in the following code what is done is port 0 is configured first as an input port by writing once to it and then data is received from port and sent to port 1 so first this port must be configured as an input port by writing once that means all eight once to it and then we can use that port so here by using this move instruction move a comma hash 0 fff means we are configuring this port as a input port but uh, this is moved first into the accumulator and then this accumulator content is moved to the port 0 that means port 0 now is written with all ones or we can say in hexadecimal fff so now with this these two instructions what has happened is uh, port 0 is configured as an input port now since it is configured as an input port it must be read so port 0 is read by using this instruction move a comma p0 means port contents are transferred to the accumulator then accumulator contents are transferred to p1 as we said earlier we are sending port 0 contents to port 1 contents and this is in a loop so 
whatever data is available on port 0 is sent to port 1 with this example. Now, what is the dual role of port 1? You pause the video and answer the question. You might have thought over the previous question and the answer is port 1 doesn't have any dual role. It is only used as an IO port. Here we will see port 0 as an output port. As again discussed earlier, upon reset all ports are configured as output. There is no need to specifically configure it as output port. This code, the following code will continuously send out to port 0 the alternating values FF, H and AAH. So look at this, this 5, 5 H is loaded into the accumulator. Again, accumulator content that is 5, 5 H is moved to P0. After some delay, this is complemented, accumulator is complemented and uh, after complementing 5, 5 H, we get uh, AAH that is again sent, uh, this is in a loop. So that AAH we will now send to the P0. So this way, 5, 5 H and AAH will be sent with some delay to port 0 continuously. Now programming port 1 as input port. As we, we have seen with port 0, sim similarly we here we should first configure it as an input port by writing once to it and then uh, this can be used as an input port. Here what is done is data is received from the port and saved in R7. You can look at whatever these two instructions are for configuring port 1 as an input port and whatever port is that means uh, content of port 1 is read into the accumulator and accumulator contents are sent to R7. That means here port contents are sent to R7 continuously. Lastly, we will see programming of port 1 as an output port. As we discussed, there is no need to specifically configure it as an output port. And this code will send to port 1 continuously that 5, 5 H and its complement AAH with some delay. These are references for my presentation. The 80 my 8051 microcontroller architecture programming and applications by Kenneth Ayla and another is 8051 microcontroller and embedded systems by Muhammad Ali Mazdi. Thank you.